Travel Robot Presence Top 10 Things to Do in the Philippines Hey, in this video we are going to talk about the top 10 things to do in the Philippines. The Philippines is a tropical paradise in the Pacific Ocean made up of more than 7,000 islands that offer a natural playground for your inner explorer. Collectively, its landscapes feature an array of natural wonders, from volcanoes and rice terraces to underwater rivers and limestone caves, along with beautiful beaches. Individually, the islands each offer something unique. Whether you are looking for the best place to dive and snorkel, or prefer to take in the historical sites in cities like Manila or Vigan, which have deep colonial roots. Since the country is so spread out, a trip to the Philippines requires careful planning so that you can connect with the proper guides and find the most convenient lodging as a base for your favorite activities. Some destinations, like the Chocolate Hills in Bajal or the Hanging Coffins in Sagada, are remote, but getting there is well worth the effort. It's also important to consider the best time of year to visit the Philippines. So before starting this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. Let's get started. Number 10. White Beach, Boracay. There is no shortage of pristine beaches in the Philippines. But if you are looking for a more active beach scene, one of the best places to visit is White Beach in Boracay. This is the most populous beach on the island, but where you will find ample opportunities for boating and other water sports. It's also one of the most beautiful beaches in Asia. Plenty of chairs and hammocks are beneath the palm trees, so you can relax and enjoy the pure white sand. You can even book a beachside massage. Snorkeling is a popular activity at White Beach, but if you do not want to put in so much work, take a banana boat ride or book a trip on a glass-bottom boat. Number 9. Manila Historical Sightseeing Tour Manila is an exciting and vibrant city that is a thriving metropolis surrounded by centuries-old churches and colonial history. It is easy to walk around Manila on your own, or take a guided sightseeing tour of the oldest district, the Intramuros or Walled City, where you'll find some of the most significant tourist attractions and important landmarks and monuments. This will give you a better appreciation for Manila. You can see the famous San Agustin Church and Monuments at Rizal Park and Fort Santiago, each bearing a significant influence on Manila that is best shared by a guide. Some tours are offered by coach, and others are available as walking or biking tours around the city. After your tour, stop by one of the local restaurants for lunch and enjoy modern-day Manila as you watch the colorful jeepneys flying by on the streets. Number 8. Mayan Volcano, Albay the Mayan volcano in the Albay province on Luzon Island is a must-see in the Philippines. It is an active stratovolcano with an elevation of more than 2,400 meters. The Mayan volcano has a perfect cone peak. Most visitors will want to enjoy the volcano by viewing it from the ground. Nature trails in the national park grounds surround the volcano, where you can also see wildlife like parakeets and other birds. Extreme hikers can apply for a permit to climb the volcano, but it is a difficult trek through forest, and dangerous gases are emitted near the peak, so caution is advised. The ideal time to visit is March through May, outside of the rainy season. You can take an organized trip from Manila to get here. Number 7. Chocolate Hills, Bohol The geological wonder on the island of Bohol, known as the Chocolate Hills, is a unique natural phenomenon. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is a protected area that features more than 1,200 small mountains that emerged above the ground over several centuries. The area was once under the ocean, and these unique hills expand in every direction. They are green during much of the year, but during the dry season, they turn to a chocolate brown color, thus the name, Chocolate Hills. A convenient path leads to the top of a lookout area, which provides the best view. Be sure to observe the many delicate flowers along the walkway that are unique to this area. Number 6. Underground River Tour, Puerto Princesa Taking a river tour of the underground river in Puerto Princesa is one of the most awe-inspiring things to do in the Philippines. The underground river on Palawan Island is inside the Subterranean River National Park, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The boat tours take you to experience the majestic five-mile river that runs below ground. The trip takes you through an intricate cave system surrounded by vertical limestone cliffs, 
You can observe ancient stalagmite and stalactite formations as the coolness of the cave balances the tropical heat outside. As you float through the dark caves on emerald water, your guide will identify points of interest and tropical wildlife that lives along the river, which flows into the South China Sea. A full-day underground river tour from Puerto Princesa includes hotel pickup and drop-off and a buffet lunch. Number 5. Hanging Coffins, Sagada It is a trek to get to the Hanging Coffins in Sagada, located deep in the northern Cordillera Mountains. But the site is something most people in the world will never see. The Hanging Coffins, some centuries old, are suspended from the cliffs of the Echo Valley. These ceremonial burials were reserved for the wealthy tribesmen. Getting to the mountainous region requires some travel time and physical endurance to hike the steep and narrow paths to the secluded coffins. You will want sturdy shoes, and you may want to train before your trip to adapt more quickly to the high altitude. The reward is a sight you will never forget and will earn bragging rights. Number 4. Ride in a Jeepney Taking a ride in a jeepney is a must experience in the Philippines, even if you have no specific destination in mind. The jeepney is one of the main forms of transportation in the Philippines. They are vehicles originally made from post-World War II U.S. Army jeeps that have been transformed into colorful and fun forms of transportation. The jeepney has become synonymous with the Philippines, a national symbol of sorts. It is unique to the country. The decorations and colorful decor on the jeepneys are as chaotic as the traffic on the city streets in places like Manila. Taking a ride in one is a thrill. With the random stops to let people on and off and being truly immersed in the local culture as residents go about their daily lives. Number 3. Bird Watching The stunning natural landscapes and ecosystems throughout the Philippines lend themselves to diverse habitats for birds, meaning the bird watching opportunities are plentiful. Even if you are not an avid birder, it is worth taking a pair of binoculars on your trip to get a glimpse of some unique species that you likely will not encounter in other parts of the world. With more than 7,000 islands and 94 national parks in the Philippines, it can be tough to narrow down where to start to look for some of the 600 species of birds that either live in or migrate through the country, like the brown-throated sunbird or the Palawan peacock pheasant. Some of the best places to start are the locations that cater to birdwatching like La Mesa Eco Park, which is popular among avid birders looking for barred rails, little egrets, osprey, and migratory birds that regularly rest in the park. The Negros and Panay Islands provided habitat for the endangered Walden's hornbill. In the Luzon region, the Anget Watershed Reserve is a good spot to find many species along the trails and in the nearby Anget Rainforest and Ecological Park. Another spot where you see many migratory birds is in the Candaba wetlands in Pampanga for species like purple herons. Number 2. Tour Colonial Vigan A fun place to visit with a terrific pre-colonial flair is the streets of Cali Crisologo of Vigan City, located in the Ilocos province. It stands out from other cities in the Philippines. The brick streets and traditional horse and carriage mode of transportation are reminiscent of the 16th century trading hub that used to be for foreign traders coming through the area. This is a fun city to spend a day or two on your trip. You can take an organized tour to learn about the city's history or stroll on your own to the small vendor shops and eateries along the main street. This is also a prime spot to find souvenirs, from bags to baskets and pottery, for a reasonable price. Be advised that if you ask your Kalesa driver to take you to the best shopping area in the city, he or she might instead drop you off at a friend's shop in order to earn a kickback of your purchases. It's better to take a ride, then explore the city street shops on your own. Number 1. Cliff Climbing Palawan One of Vietnam's major centers for activities and adventure travel attractions. Cat, if just looking at the majestic cliffs in El Nido is not enough adventure for you, then consider a day trip to climb them. Cliff climbing on the limestone outcroppings is a fun adventure and a unique way to see some of the most scenic views in the Philippines. The most popular climb is on Miti Toro, where the peak takes you up about 750 feet with clear 360-degree views of the countryside and water. While it might be tempting to hike the trails on your own, it is best to hire a guide who can take you along the safer trails that do not entail climbing the face of the cliff. You will still encounter some jagged rocks on the trails of the cliffs, 
so be sure to only embark on this trip if you are physically prepared for it. Bring plenty of water and wear sturdy close-toed shoes or hiking boots. You will want to plan this trip to start early in the morning so that you can take it slow to navigate the natural elements like rocks and trees that you may need to traverse. Plan three to four hours for the climb and rest at the top. Your reward will be a stunning view of the Philippines that you won't find anyplace else. Avoid the rainy season of June through November. If you love similar content like this, take a look at my other videos. And if you like it, please smash the like button and make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. If you have further questions, feel free to comment down below.